I'm so glad I extended the competition deadline because there was so much activity in those extra weeks I'm not even sure I can summarize it in this short video. But here goes. James switched to a different approach to find and use the ball contours and angular coordinates. He also optimized things quite a lot, like using a genetic algorithm to estimate my camera properties. I have a feeling he might be overfitting here, trying to make that circle happen. But anyway, interesting stuff. Yusuf tried to code 3D trilateration, but that proved a bit tough. He gave up on that and implemented a unique way to use linear interpolation to handle distortion instead. He has the best accuracy now that can be achieved in real time, like if you'd use a webcam and do those drawings live. Danny made more improvements to his version and has a really cool page now where he essentially does horizon lock for my footage. Really cool stuff, but sadly he didn't have the time to make a valid entry for the competition. Then Dmitro showed up using C Sharp and OpenCV. A unique choice during this competition. Started off having some issues with coordinate precision, but eventually got it to have good results. He even used the audio to detect when the pen is touching the table or not. People started asking about my camera settings. I did tell everyone it was a GoPro Hero 8 with linear setting, and you can find the FOV from their website. I also provided a checkered pattern for calibration, but I don't think anybody really benefited from these during the competition. Was funny to see Aosas and James doing the same kind of trigonometry at some point. They eventually managed to account for distortion, the tilt of the pen, and pretty much everything else except for the blur. That's something Aosas is still struggling with. And there's still this issue James pointed out. He implemented a way to display the side view as well, and notice the table doesn't appear horizontal. I wonder what's up with that. I'm sure I had it level when recording the footage. Anyway, you're probably wondering who won, so here's how the top positions changed since last time. Aosas took the lead from James with 77.7%, but only briefly. James passed him again, reaching 78.9%. He wasn't in that position for long, though. Yusuf went all out and took first place, being the first to reach over 80% on average and the first to get a perfect circle. Then Aosas got over 9,000 per myriads! And not just on average, all of them were over 90%. This must have been so devastating that James couldn't sleep and got over 95% on average. With three of them perfect. It was so close to the deadline I decided to reveal the real drawings in red. The evaluation system wasn't showing numbers as expected when the drawings were so close. Anyway, just look how close they are. I was sure James had it in the bag. But then... Aosas made a final effort. And I'm so happy seeing everyone active like this, because it's the best way to learn in my experience. Trying out different things, getting stuck, seeing what others are doing. Sure, it can be time consuming, but it's really worth it, I think. And it's what you'll need to do at the workplace as well. I'm now trying to condense as many useful things as I can into that course so others can learn as well. Congratulations to Aosas. I can't believe he's only 16. I sure wasn't able to do what he did when I was that age. Even now, looking at some of his equations, I get shivers, and I'm more than twice as old. Then James was so close, I actually considered making two diplomas, especially because the accuracy measurement is not perfect. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to do that, but I do have this other set of balls I plan to keep for myself, so I'm putting them in your gift box, next to the cup you chose because you had the most badges. Speaking of which, these are the top 5 badge earners, and I felt it was fair to ask everyone in order which prize they want. James took the cup, Aosas the bottle, Boss decided to forfeit his prize and let someone else take it. So Minion Toby made the top 5 and eventually got the first aid kit because Yusuf chose the power bank and Dimitro the charging cable. Dimitro is also the top performing student from around here. So he won that special prize worth a thousand euros. Basically, if you ever have a business idea, you'll get that as funding and coaching to help make it happen. That's all I have for now. Keep an eye out for the course when it comes out and please share it with others so they can learn as well. 
thanks for watching and see you guys.